Okay, here's something unusual for you. Here we have a briefcase. And, I don't know, editor pilot I've got down there. And that little label that you click I see. I don't know if it says box 2. Can't remember what that says there, but that looks like a memory address there. Something RAM up to. There we go, and there's a hex address. 16K, apparently. What we're referring to? This. Now. I have no idea what this is. Um, what I can say is that we have here, there is a Z80. Okay, so we know that much. These two here are labelled NAS Sys 1.2 with an address of 0000, 000 and NAS Sys 1.2 and the address is 0400 kind of says so a little bit on the board as well there. Uh, I've got a Nitron chip, I have no idea. Now, it doesn't say anything on the board, I have no idea what this is. Part of me wonders whether if it says NASSIS, I'm looking at some sort of weird NASCOM board here, but surely they were all labelled NASCOM. Anyway, that's what it looks like inside. That's a, a reset switch there. Underneath this board, there's two other boards. Uh, that's a built-in tape deck. That's the keyboard. Right, let me quickly uh, close it up for you. Right, right there. Oh. Nearly there. Oh, Pats. That's the right, is it? Huh. Sorry about that. I don't think that's in right. No, I didn't think so. Anyway, when it's put like this, as you can see, we have a keyboard and a deck. And this apparently is a Micros uh, V840 LRP Micronics Limited. Uh, power, transfer, halt, reset, channel. Seems to have two settings. Like so. And indeed, the reset switch. Now then, bizarre as it is, it actually seems to work. Now, give me a second here. Plugged in standard kettle leak. Like so. Uh, seems to be a BNC connector. But at the same time, works with the TV. Dun, 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 dun. Right, is this tuned in? It's going to work for me. Wait, right. no. Da da! Power button, that transfer light glows. And if I that and then press the power button and then press the power button again. Oh, transfer light still on. Ah, there we go, it's off when I do the switch. And then it's on. And it's off. And it's on. So that does that. The halt light did manage to go on at one point, I'm not quite sure why. The screen looks like this. Okay. I'm not Generating anything. So you press and enter. I can occasionally get something to happen on the screen. Sort of, kinda. I'm not really sure what's happening there. There's no um, obvious break key. Obviously, there's some stuff written on the keyboard there. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, it's reminding me somewhat of my uh, trials and tribulations with the Acorn app. If I do a uh, reset, hold it, and let go. As you can see, nothing particularly happens. Reset doesn't even work up the way. If I take off the transfer light, 
release it again, hold it, and release. Uh, if I mash the keyboard, again, nothing happens. Shift, new line, backspace. Uh, I literally only have QWERTY here. Tape deck is there. Fancy thing. Quite expensive by the looks of the fact that it's all metal in here. Um, it's not working. If I reset, doesn't need power. Randomly do load, I suppose. Nothing happens. Load with shift. Still nothing. So it doesn't it seem to work. Forward. It's not recording there. Um, anybody got any ideas what the hell this is? Um, the internet is not being my friend today. Google is not helping me out. Either way, it's a fine looking machine. Um, clearly, I would look like James Bond carrying that around in that briefcase there. Uh, I'm sure all the women would love me if that was the case. Instead of being slightly. Well, you know. Right. Off. Screen clears. Then it flashes the power reigns. I'm back on. Same pattern. Interesting, isn't it? It suggests that there's a reset now going on. Or something, maybe. Who knows? Inside, three boards. Any ideas? Let me know.